Hi, Chris here from Clipfolio. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to build a sales team leaderboard, which in this case is pulling in data from Salesforce, so that you can get a view to the real-time performance of your sales reps on a day-to-day -day basis. The first step in building a Salesforce dashboard in Clipfolio is to connect the relevant data to Clipfolio. So I'm going to start by creating a basic report in Salesforce. I'm in my Salesforce account. And I'm going to create a report that will show sales activity, displaying the sales rep name and the associated counts that have been won today and the revenue that's been generated today. So I'm going to go and click Accounts and Contacts. And now I'll start by adjusting the date range. I'll specify that I want this report to display only the information for today. And I'll remove some of the columns that I don't want in my report. Okay, so now I only have my account owner column, my sales reps, and the customer column. And I'll scroll down here and grab my MRR, the revenue. Okay, this is pretty much what I'm looking for. I'll run report uh, just to verify. Yep, this is what I'm looking for, so I can save that. And I'll name this report. You see, I've done this before. And I'll just make sure this doesn't show up in our regular feed so that it doesn't uh, confuse anyone. I'll save that. <clears throat> okay, I've created that report. Now I can go back into Clipfolio and I'll connect the report so that I can build uh, my custom data visualizations. So in Clipfolio, I'll start, uh, the process of building a custom clip starts by clicking add a clip, and then I'll click build a custom clip. And I'll pick the component that I wanna start working with. I'll just pick a blank component to start. And now I'll select to create a new data source because I haven't previously connected my Salesforce report to Clipfolio. And I'll just, now I'm in a connector gallery and I'll just search for the Salesforce connector. And I'll uh, click accounts just to get in the flow step. And I'll sign in using my credentials that have previously been stored in Clipfolio. The first time you do this, you'll have to enter those. Okay, now I'll just change the retrieval method to Salesforce report from SoCool. And I'll scroll down to find my report. Sample sales report, there we go. Select and the uh, report should be shown down below. This is showing in summary format though, so I'll change that to get a detailed view so that it makes sure that I see all the data that I wanna be working with. And yeah, the three columns are there now, so this, is, this looks like the report that I wanna work with. Okay, so I'll continue. And I'll set the refresh rate for my data source to every five minutes so that uh, the data source updates, goes back to Salesforce and updates every five minutes with new data. Okay, now I'm in the clip editor. In the middle of the screen is my clip preview area. By the way, a clip is our term for a data visualization built in Clipfolio. Um, I'll start by dragging in some components. So I'll drop in a, a layout grid and I'll start with a label in the top left hand corner. Uh, my data source is down below, by the way, as you see. And uh, in here, I'll just, this is what we call the formula bar. In here, I'll write in Dylan's name. Let's say I, I want to make this report for our uh, sales rep, Dylan. So I'll write that in, and I'll just, uh, I'm in properties now, and I'll just modify this, make it a bit bigger. And I'll add uh, another label below Dylan, and I'll make this column my revenue column. So I'll call this new MRR. And I'll go back into properties to uh, adjust look and feel of that. Okay, now I wanna create another column below. I can just right click, insert uh, row below, and I can actually just cut and paste uh, the label I just created into the, the third uh, row of data now. And I'll change this to new accounts because I want this row to um, show uh, account information. Okay, so this is uh, coming together. I'll pull in a value pair now. <coughs> And uh, the value pair, I want to be displaying revenue uh, generated by Dylan today. So I'll just write a simple sum if statement, which you should be familiar with if you're used to working in Excel. 
and I'll set the condition so that uh, if the data in column C equals uh, Dylan Dodge, I want to show the data in column B, which is the revenue. And now you see I'm pulling in uh, 96. I'll change in properties that to a currency format. And unbold it. Okay, I'll come into the secondary value and I'll just use this uh, as a label um, so that the viewer knows exactly what this is. Call this MRR, monthly recurring revenue. And just like I did with the uh, previous label, I can cut and paste that. And now I just have a few minor alterations to make to uh, have this component show account information instead of MRR. So I'll go back to the sum if statement. And instead of uh, the sum if, I will change this to a account if. And uh, the way I have this report structured, I can literally just count the rows in column C where Dylan Dodge appears. And that'll effectively be telling me how many customers uh, have been generated today. So we see five. I just have to change the format there to number. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to drag in some uh, gauge components to show uh, Dylan's progress against uh, a daily target. So in this component, we have two, uh, two values here. We have the current value and the target value. The current value is up top. So I'm going to change that current value. Um, and I want to reference the 96 and MRR that I already have in my component. So I can use this formula reference. So I use this exclamation point and I can scroll down to find parts of the data visualization I've already created. In this case, the 96 in the uh, second row, third column. And now I'm just referencing that so I don't have to write the formula again. I'll adjust that and change the properties. Okay, now I can come down to the target value. And let's say I can set this to whatever I want. So let's say a good uh, daily target for MRR for Dylan is $200. Um, so just like that, now we've built a component showing uh, Dylan's progress uh, on the day against a daily target. And as I've done twice over, I can now go and just copy uh, that data visualization, excuse me, that component. And I'll copy it down to new accounts. And now I'll make some minor alterations so that we're pulling in the right information for this row. So I'll go to current value. I will use the formula reference again, but instead of referencing uh, column two, uh, uh, column three, row two, I'll reference uh, column three, row three, just finding the right value pair here. There's five, that's right. Change that to number. And I'll change the target value. Now just to make these uh, visualizations line up a bit better with the, uh, the columns one and two, I think I'm just going to remove the first, the current value from being shown in the gauge like so. Um, we already see it in the third column, and I think it just makes this look a bit cleaner. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, lastly, let's put a face to the name here. Um, I'll drag in an image component for Dylan. And I'll go to layout. I'll make that span two uh, columns. And all I'm going to do for the image is I'll just, I'm just grabbing a, an image of someone who's obviously not Dylan from the internet. I'll grab the, uh, the URL. I'll just copy it and paste it right into my data field in between the two exclamation points for the uh, image component. And just like that, I'll be um, pulling that visual in. And I'll just adjust the size here. Arnold's looking a little too big for this clip. It's better. It's a bit better. OK, this is looking uh, pretty close to what I had in mind. So now I'll just uh, save this, or uh, title this clip, and then I'll save it. And I'd have the option to share it with various groups I've set up in Clipfolio. I won't do that for this demo. 
and the clip will get added to my dashboard. Okay, so that's one down of, you know, you may have two, three, six, eight, twelve of these that you want to create. Um, once you've built once, you can uh, pretty easily just uh, duplicate these clips and save them uh, with different titles um, and make some adjustments in the clip itself to be pulling in the right information for the right uh, sales rep. So I'll show you how to do that. So in the top right hand corner of the clip, you can click the uh, this menu button and go to edit the clip. Now I'm back in the editor. Now I'll make whatever adjustments that I want to this clip so that it's pulling in information for another sales rep and then I'll save it uh, with a different name. So I'll come back to uh, my sales report and let's create a new report for Yvonne. So I'll change Dylan to Yvonne and just to give you a sense of how easy this would be to do, I'll go into a few of my columns. I'll change uh, the revenue sum if statement to be looking at Yvonne instead of Dylan's data. You can do the same thing for the accounts formula. And I can make the same changes for uh, the rest of the components. Um, I, I won't go too far with this, but I will of course change the picture to someone who's more in the like of Yvonne. So now I can come in and just, uh, or I'll change the clip title first. And now the important part, when I go to save this, I'll make sure to save it as a copy so that I'm not writing over my previous, uh, the previous clip that I created for Dylan. I'll rename this uh, Yvonne Sales today, save that as a copy. And now I've just duplicated and uh, adjusted that clip without having to start from scratch. So you can see how this would be done if you wanted to create, you know, as I mentioned, a, a bunch of these various visualizations to build out your dashboard. Spend some time, get the first one exactly the way you'd like, and then you can just go in and duplicate them for all your sales reps. So I hope this was helpful. I hope it gets you uh, a running start in building your own uh, sales dashboard. As I mentioned, I was working with Salesforce uh, in this case, but you could be building these dashboards based on any um, data source you have, whether it's an Excel spreadsheet, a Google sheet, something from your hard drive, or from another CRM. If you have any questions about this or any other uh, demos you've seen and, uh, in our channel, please reach out to support.clipfolio.com. Until next time, happy dashboarding.